Radio. Stick with it and good things happen. Fun. Jock. Radio. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hello. LFG. Hello. What the fuck now? How's it going? Hey, guys. I am Welcome not back. Recording. Welcome back to the, uh, the studio uh, in Fuzz, uh, Fuzz Talk Radio Studios. Um, we are live. Coming at you. Not, not, not in a bad way. Like violent way. Oh, I'm not really coming at you. Yeah, we're no, not in a violent, bad way. Not in a sexual your internet. Not coming in a sexual to you. way either. Just we're coming to you. Coming, to right? Where is there a different word than coming that we can use? We are. No, that's Live. the only word. Okay, I I don't know what's going on. It's um, a, I might rough, I, I might I might figure it out later, but I don't know what's going on right now. This is a podcast. Yeah, I blame Tom. You believe. No, it's time to move you blame, on from that. You blame Tom? I blame him for everything. Well, hey, Tom, we should okay. move on right. from Tom. Um, ah, shoot. Hey, uh, hey, how's it going? Good. Welcome to Fuzz. I <laughs> okay. I figured Radio. it out. I figured out what's going on. Is I, I I took a nap earlier today. What? Not like later in the night, but more in earlier in the day. And mm-hmm. then I didn't need coffee, but I decided to drink some coffee like I normally do. And now I'm really nervous. And uh, this is our second episode. This is fuzz. So, yeah. You feeling the wooblies? I'm going to start this thing off like the way we should start this we off. We did okay? it. You, you, you cool? You, uh, you, you, you cool with that yeah. audience? Okay. We're going to start this off with, Hello. this is Fuzz Jock Radio. My name is Fuzzy. We have two other Hess. One all, all the way out in California, and their name is... That's not me. Speed Dubs. And we have one here all the way in Minnesota. That's me. And that's... I'm Jamez. Jamez. And that's me, Fuzzy. Yeah, that's uh, you. The, your other host. I already m- mentioned myself. But that's okay, because that's we us. are doing a great job with these introductions and the intro to Fuzz Jock Radio. And you're going to have a fun time... Riding along with us in the sports extravaganza bus that we have provided for you today. We got a lot to talk about. We do. We have mm-hmm. sports to talk about. We have life to talk about. We have movies and uh, uh, things and all, 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 all the rest of the stuff. Right. This is a talk show. Because this is a talk show. It's not a sports show. It's not a sports podcast. It's um, it's life. It's about really? life, right? Life. Really, it is yeah, life. So what should we do? Um, let's talk about the twins. No, no. Let's first let's save the twins. We let's let's talk some baseball. But uh, See, twins are so good. Uh, we're gonna talk about them for See, so long that See, we should get the other stuff See, in there I'm, first. See, I, the reason why I'm screwing up is because, I mean, I did mention it last week uh, that uh, we we had a producer lined up. I'm not going to dwell on it the rest of the season. This will be the last time you guys hear about Tom. But uh, this guy, Tom, he decided to go back to his old his old uh, team at his at his old job and uh, and start and start working for them again instead of coming to us and being a producer. So, well, Fuzzy, you we, said you were going to uh, prepare. Well, we did. So we did. Yeah. Right. We 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 are going back to writing things down on a big whiteboard. Just like we did in season one, so it's kind of like a throwback, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Um, it's it's something that audience doesn't see going on, but I'm explaining it to you now, so you know that if you remember listening to the first season, we talked about having the big whiteboard around. You're right? gonna get so much more enjoyment out of this podcast if you can envision a whiteboard. Mm-hmm. So there's a, a like big, our voices, a, a big one, along with a whiteboard. A big one. Envision a big one because this 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 is the point. I'm trying to make here is that last week I was so yeah. unprepared that because Tom didn't show up, he decided to go back and uh, th- throw the pigskin around or whatever. And during break or whatever, um, I decided since I was so embarrassed that I wasn't prepared last, last week, I 
got I I got my own myself a what a smaller whiteboard for my own personal notes to talk about things that I want to talk about during the episode. Uh, now I'm prepared. I got I got a whiteboard. Yeah, yeah. See, you got some topics you want to talk about. Yeah, I I, I do, oh. and that's what we're gonna get into. Um, that's what we're gonna get into. So okay, I got my personal whiteboard. Your whiteboard reminds me of your notebook. Oh, don't talk about the notebook though. Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> like, I, like, remember how? Well, I'll remember how the notebook didn't work out because I kept on forgetting <laughs> or losing it or forgetting it. Like, I, I do never, you know where it is right now? I don't know, but I have my whiteboard. See, you have. I'm showing. Um, so I'm showing. I'm showing C Dub's my whiteboard right now. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry to mention this, but there is nothing on that whiteboard. It's nothing on the backside either. No, there isn't. Well, I got a whiteboard. <laughs> how was your week? How was your week, James? <laughs> I was oh, so weekly. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to. I didn't write my notes. You got part of the way. No, well, next, right week, ne- next week. Next week. Okay. Just, let's yeah. just move on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, James, how was your week? week? It was super duper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watched some some Minnesota sports. There's some exciting sports things happening in Minnesota. It's a, it's uh, oddly a good time to be a Minnesota fan. Yeah, it's really sports nice. fan. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. how was your week? Are we doing? Uh, we're doing this still, right? Like we're we introduce we talk yeah. about each other's weeks in the beginning. Of the yeah. I, I kind of overtook the conversation there a little bit with my preparedness, Do what you want. but um, how's your week? My week was my week was painful. Yeah, why? I pinched a nerve. I'm still dealing with it to this day. Oh, like in your shoulder yeah, or yeah, like in your back? Walking. Huh? In your leg? In my back. Dude. Oh. Like in my neck, shoulder area. Mm, that's not and fun. So I woke up and couldn't move my head. You didn't get the kind of cool one that tickles? No. It uh, feels fuck. very painful. Like someone's pinching me constantly. That's and for luck. a few days, I couldn't move my head at all. Yeah. And I had to miss work, and yeah, that's now I'm back, but yeah, that, it still hurts. That happened. That that that's happened to me before. Um, it's not fun. We are old men. We must take care of yeah, ourselves. I was just gonna say we are getting old. Our body. My coworker brought up to that right away. He's like, you know, I'm the same age as you. I just gotta worry that this could happen to me. And I'm like, you do need to worry. <laughs> well, you need to start stretch. We need to start stretching in the morning. Yes. Uh, taking care of ourselves so psa uh, uh audience members if you're not yet start stretching stretch stretch in the Literally morning right now stretch right now let's get up let's all get up we already did in the intro so oh, yeah, I mean, this is just for the audience yeah, like get up that. stretch we always stretch get during up. the intro that's our yeah our so thing. We're, we're, we're done this is not a you're stretching not episode yet. or podcast no so we already did that um Fuzzy, how was your week? Uh, well, uh, set aside the fact that I got a whiteboard and didn't write my notes down. Um, you got somewhat prepared. I did. I guess. I guess. I guess I did. So yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, it was a great week. I got semi prepared. We watched some sports together. We did watch some sports together. We'll talk about that yeah, later that in the episode. Such, it was good sports. Um, what else did I do? I got a whiteboard and. Um, you were a babysitter. Uh, oh, th- thank you for reminding me that. Mm-hmm. That, uh, yeah, I babysat my my nephew t- uh, this week. It was the first time, and it was great. Uh, my sister was like, "Hey, Lovely. can you can you uh, babysit Henry?" And I'm like, "Yes, I can." And then I did, and then I re- found out that he likes soccer, and so I'm going to get him. That's awesome. A, so I'm going to get out, get him a soccer ball. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, the football. Yeah, the football. Good uncle. Yeah, I'm going to get him a soccer ball. Um, baseball is fun again in Minnesota. Baseball is, I was going to yeah. say not fun again in Minnesota. Like I usually say in other seasons, when se- but it is fun again in Minnesota. Yep. And you know why? You know why? Why? They are eight and eight, and which is really <laughs> awesome. Because they're compared to where they were last week. They are the top of their division. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Series division leading. They're the, twins? they're the division leading twins, and so that's fun. You're looking at me like, 
Ah, uh, yeah. It is whatever. fun. Buzz. Let's let's save no, some of the fun. fun stuff. Let's talk some stupid stuff that's happening yeah, in baseball get, first. Let's talk about some stupid stuff. And then stuff we'll first. then we'll bring then people we'll back up there. by talking about how awesome yeah. the twins are. Okay. Something appalling happened in so, baseball last week. Yeah, no, so like uh yeah, there is really shitty fans out there. Let's just we're not gonna even like I'm not gonna tiptoe around it. Uh, no. the Yankees in in the Yankee. I don't know what spurred it on, but the Yankees fans started throwing garbage into the onto the field at players. Right? Well, Is it was what? not just garbage. Go. It was full beer cans, and they don't just sell regular beer cans. They sell the double the sized boys, ones. Yeah. Yeah, the tall boys. They're whipping them at them full at the end of the game. The Here, this is what's them? ridiculous. Let me break this down. No, because I know the whole thing. Yeah, break I want to just say what's ridiculous. Yeah. If you're going to say they're throwing full tall cans, those tall cans in, in New York, if they're fucking, if they're if those are seven to ten dollars in Minnesota, they gotta be like twenty dollar, thirty dollar beers. They're, they're twenty four dollars. Oh boy! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, go. Anyway. Um, so first what happened was it's the, t- it's the bottom of the ninth inning and they're down by a run. Okay. So the Yankees are, yeah. and the guardians are up, they're leading in there. They're hoping to close this game out. Um, I think it was Donaldson. They got a guy on base. Donaldson hits the ball deep in the outfield. One of the guardians hits the wall, trying to catch it face plants really hard like so hard that he gets up and you can visually see him be like oh shit i can't see gets up throws the ball and falls down because he's so hurt he's like it's really oh it looks horrible so they he gets they score the run and they tie the game and so then the fans start chirping and cheering that the guy is hurt during the the medical staff looking at him and the the players from the Guardians, the other outfielders, climb the wall and get in the face of the fans and start yelling at them back. And this is all in left field. Okay. So one of the guys even was doing like the pussy symbol, like right in their face. And mm-hmm. it, on the TV replays, they have to censor it because it's so stupid. Mm-hmm. But like, so this is this is what happens when they tie the game. So then the players go back. The game starts up again. And they hit a ball to win the game. Yay! They've won the game. Walk-off hit, right? The Yankees? The Yankees. Okay. They win the game, and the fans start whipping their beer cans at the outfielders in right field. Different set of fans start whipping their beer cans at the outfielders because they won the game? The, so then at, the moment of the winning of the game is lost because the Yankees have to run out the players and tell the fans to stop yeah, and judge, protect the like, other team. Like judge went out there to protect the other players like Aaron judge. It's horrible. That's really, that is bad. pathetic. Why is that happening? The fuck's their problem. I, I just can't fathom acting like that what why do why the, would the you fans are that? out of control we talked about this yes, we, we talked about this last it was it last season about how fans are starting to become more and more unruly i think it was two or two was or three two... seasons ago because it was yeah. when we had the olympian on yeah and and wow. it's because they had we had to hold off from letting the fans into the stadiums and so they, they came back very entitled yeah and we yeah we I definitely talked about that but that Dumb. Yankee fans are also kind of, I mean, I don't want to just blame that they're because they're Yankee fans, but I know Yankee fans are kind of. Well, jerks. there is there is that aspect of two sports like, yeah, you um the the Oakland or the the Raiders have always had yep. specific Philadelphia type of fans. Philadelphia have always had specific type of fans, just wild mm-hmm. and uh, unruly. Um, it's a bad look. It, I, I think it is, uh, for the, the team and the fans themselves and the city. And there's no reason for anybody like th- those players are, yeah, sure. They're getting paid really well, which, you know, if there's that much money in the industry, like we've talked about before, you know, they should be b- being paid because they're the ones that are providing the entertainment. And that's what they're there for is to provide 
entertainment for those fans. <laughs> it you know, and I don't know. I just it just brings me back to like the whole aspect of how the how I just I don't like competition because it brings out really strange things in people and it becomes a big me versus you all the time. And tribalism. Tribalism, absolutely. Right? And the sportsmanship gets lost in it all. It it, it does. And then it yeah. and then it ends up because it ends up being I win. I have to win. Otherwise, it's the end of the world, you know. And and you and people forget that the other team also are doing the best they, that they can to beat you. And mm-hmm. I don't know. Sportsmanship is being is consistently being lost. I believe, and that's an aspect of it. It was the unruly fans. Yeah, I think it's the rise of the tribalism in everything. It, sure, us, the us versus them aspect of everything is just hyper right now. It it it, I, it really feels that way anyway. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if that's who is that like is that a natural thing for that to happen when big you know wars and events start come around, or is it the product of you know, misinformation, you know, social, social medias, or is this like. War usually brings unity. Against who the warring factions are, you know, but they're, you know, stuff like that. Like right now, I wouldn't say that in some aspects, yeah, it's bringing unity, but it's also dividing people. Not that we have to get into that conversation. No, I'm just, no, this is, I'm not asking questions. I'm asking, yeah. I'm just. Why is it got to be? Why is it got to be? Think think about those things. You know? I don't like it. Yeah. This is not a sports podcast. This, this is a, like a thinking about stuff this is, podcast. This, this is, is about higher intelligence, right? Like venue <laughs> etiquette podcast. Like listening to questions and not vocally answering them, right? Is that is that what we're going for here? Don't answer, don't answer. Don't yeah. Answer. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Um, um so yeah, yeah. no, like it, it's it's Wrong. It's absolutely wrong for fans mm-hmm. to be doing that. They, you shouldn't do that anywhere. You shouldn't try to harm somebody by throwing things at them in any space or form. Right? Yeah, and certainly don't need to celebrate uh, injuries. No. Yeah. No, That's I horrible. don't like that either. I don't like that either. Uh, so I'm looking at the big board. Yeah, rule changes. And we've got rule changes written we, on it. We talked about second base a little bit last week, right? We talked about that, and then we also brought up that the Switch is not banned, but I yep. looked it up, yep. and the Switch is banned next year. Oh, or it is. The, the shift. shift, I mean, not the Switch, the Shift. The Shift. The so Shift will be banned so starting next year. The Shift the shift to the audience and to Jamez <clears throat> is that when a batter goes up to bat... I was about to explain it to you. Anyway. Oh, do you want to explain it to me? <laughs> no. Oh well, I thought you needed it, but um, it's all about the movie Moneyball. Maybe which the I've audience never doesn't seen, need. right? It is about Moneyball. Yeah, st- st- statisticians. So they they uh the, the there's there's these stats out there uh f- for all these players and uh, where they're going to most likely hit the ball when they go up to bat and the spray defense chart. the s- spray chart is what they call it um where it the it, 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 the visual chart is called a spray chart because it, it shows exactly where all the last, you know, thousands of uh, hits have landed for a, for a batter. And it will show a tendency to where they're going to hit. So then the defense can, uh, the shift is called, it's called the shift and the defense shifting. will shift to the spot. Like, so they'll take like, basically they'll take, their second baseman and make them a shortstop between first and second. And then a shortstop is on second base. Yeah. Or outfielders. There'll be three outfielders in left field instead of across the whole field. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's something that should happen. That naturally should happen because you know where people are going to hit, so why don't you change your defense to that? Yeah. Right? But you're saying that they're going to not allow that. 
what happens yeah. what happens if they not allow it well i think or the like idea what happens is if they not allow it and then a team is caught shifting what they want is well, that's a good question but yeah. isn't the idea to just not have uh, uh they're trying to nerf the defense so that it could be more boombastic well they're yes. right they want more offense they want plays. more offense they want the ball in play more yeah and because yeah. they think that that's entertaining yeah. Do you think that's more entertaining? To your average viewer, absolutely. Or yeah. like your non full head on, full on baseball fan, because that's what you want to see is dingers. You want to see hits. You want to see doubles. You want to see them running around the bags. But if you're a big baseball head, you probably like watching a pitcher's duel. Yeah. Or both. You can also like both. But I think I I think the owners saw that as a point of like, here's how we get people to get excited about the game yeah well yeah I have mean, more offense well absolutely has there been anything said about like if they try to shift yeah what like happens? if they get a little shifty on the field or are they just being doing like the whole i'm gonna honor system honor system yeah i have no clue i would like to know what the punishment would be if someone shifted because yeah. i would definitely do it if there's no literal punishment i would just do it anyway yeah, that's a better idea yeah interesting it makes better baseball does it i think does it i mean not more exciting baseball for your average viewer but like yeah it, oh, the it, shift does I, yeah. I think the shift makes for better baseball yeah makes for smarter baseball that's what i'm thinking i think so i think i think the shift is a good thing for baseball I mean, like, okay, it doesn't, in my mind, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad for baseball. It's a natural th progression into baseball becoming more of a pure sport of itself because you start to know what, like, even without the computer analytics, if you pay attention, you're going to see where the, that, that player is tendencies going to hit. And, mm -hmm. If that's going to happen, if you know that a player is going to hit in, in that direction, why wouldn't you move your de defense over there? And the other aspect is the player that's hitting should hit it in the opposite direction. Yeah, you know. Like hit it, hit it the other way. Mm -hmm. And if you can't, become a better player and do it. Yeah, there's this yeah. one player. Like cor correct your batting. Like, am I wrong? Like, is am I wrong, or is or, or, or can people practice to hit more to the left field? There are people who excel at hitting through the shift. I think it because... makes. I, I think it makes it lazy. I think it makes players yeah. more lazy. Yeah. No. Well, here's what I get. Or James, you go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, this one player is really he's getting really good at uh, you know pulling his hits, um, but it doesn't really matter where the shift is going because this player just hits the home runs. Do that too. Yeah. Just hit a home <laughs> run. Well, what I was going to say is this is why I think the shift should be in the game. And this is just, this is based off a of fan aspect. Fans buy tickets based off where the star player commonly hits a home run. They try to buy those tickets on big games. Like the fans are smart enough to know where the ball is going to go. So they specifically plan to sit there in hopes to get that player's ball. Fans are using a shift. I just think it's detrimental to the game by taking away the shift. I think it's of, weird. Because it's it, making it. Because like, what happens, like what makes it a shift? One, what makes it a shift? And two, what do you do if the, the umps just decide that it decide that they're shifting? Yeah, like yeah. is it like is it the, can the right fielder go so only go so far? And if so, that was just weird to make him run that far. Like, well, I think it's like, just going to restrict movement. What That's about, all it's going to do. What about OSHA? <laughs> is this sound, like this sounds dangerous now? Now that I think about it, it sounds dangerous yeah, for absolutely. the players. Because if there should be a full on investigation from OSHA on they this. They know the player knows where the the batter is going to hit it, no matter what. They're, they're like you said, the fans know where it's going to be. Even yeah. if they take away the charts, they're going to still know where where the direction of the ball is going to go prior to the, the 
batter hitting because the batter is going to be lazy, not correct correct his <laughs> batting. Yes. Right. And so mm-hmm. then the player is getting preloaded to go to his left. Right. And then the, the ball hits and it's going directly to the left, exactly where it's supposed to go. But he has to run a hundred more meters than he did prior. Yep. Because yeah. be- before he would just be like right there, pop up, bam. Right. Now, mm-hmm. now he has to run an extra ten feet, and he dives for that Ocean ball, violation. and he breaks his knee. OSHA violation. He can yep. make a contest saying, "Yo, lawyers, I broke my knee because they banned the shift." Yeah, I love it. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This this banning the shift is going down. We're taking it down. <sighs> oh, man, Dude. I tell you, are they are they thinking about this? Let's talk about the twins. Dude, they're so good. They're so good. Um, They've changed the narrative completely <laughs> since what we were tap dancing around last week. They are five and five. Buxton came back, and he's great. Yeah, Buxton is definitely back. He is. Uh, he he. What his first game? First game back was a four hit game. Mm-hmm. I think so. Or a five hit game. I don't know, but I don't know. Uh, between I, I, him and and Arias, I, once again, I have no notes. Uh, him and Arias went off on the hits, um, and then to close out the series against the White Sox, uh, Buxton had a career high five RBI game uh, off of two home runs, and, and this was... is this was important because uh, that first one was. Uh, he he did the the pull swing so like he hit he hit that first home run in exactly you know opposite of what all the stats say he would hit you know so absolutely it is within uh their talent and ability to do this um mm-hmm. and then in uh the walk off home run hot damn this thing how much can a team up. ask one man to do yeah, it is. That oh, that man. was right before his walk off home run. Dude. Yeah, it was on right. the at bat, and it is. And like, then he did it, and he did it. Yep. He's fucking Superman. And, and and what's what's really neat um, is that everybody is like, even Carrera is like, uh, he's the best player. Uh, like he is, he is this team. It's it's one one man team, but um, not one man team. Uh, you no, know, no, but you know, he's, like. He's I, like I, he, but that's what, what what I'm saying is everybody, everybody is saying that. Yeah, you know, yeah. everybody is like Correa said. Oh, this is this is Buxton's team. team. This he's the best player yeah. on the team. Baldelli is saying he's the best player on the team. Uh, uh, Dick just said, you know, how much can <laughs> one man, you know, do? Th- what do you say? Yeah. Then? How much can a team ask one man to do? So. That's it's it's kind of cool. It's a lot of weight on his shoulders. And what is his response? His response is the team. It's the team. That, that was a big part for my teammates. You know, going up before that at bat, um, there was just like, "Look, you're gonna win it. Look, you're gonna win it." And it's uh, you know things like that you hear. You don't know within yourself that you're about to do it, but once I got in the batter's box, you know that just kind of that confidence took over, and um, you know we got the job now. I guess for me the biggest part is that confidence taking over to the clubhouse. You know, once you got a confident clubhouse, um, I said it yesterday, there's nothing that we ain't capable of doing. Um, and it's just a start. You know, obviously it's early in the season, so just looking around and, and coming in and smiling and having fun with these guys each and every day. We're learning each other more and more, and uh, the chemistry on the field just makes it that much more tighter once we get out there to, you know, keep passing that torch down. Yeah, that's looking around, and communicating. Really. Looking around mm-hmm. and communicating, like uh, Kirk, right? Is that yeah, what we yeah. used to say? Is that something? That, that's something that we say, right? Looking around and communicating. Yep. Yeah. It's about the wolves, but yes. No, that uh, that walk off home run, I think, measured like four hundred sixty nine feet, and throughout the history of Statcast, um, which they've been doing since two thousand fifteen, it is the longest walk off home run in Statcast history. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. 
And with him being yeah, you know, with him being that good, it brings confidence to the team, which brings confidence to him. Yeah, right. That's basically what we're what he's saying. Just it gets it, it, it gets everyone rainy. going, man. It gets yeah. everyone going. It's, um, it's great, and it like becomes reciprocal. Yeah, yeah. And in another interview, he's talking about the bats that had been doing great things, and um, you know, Arias too has been really. Uh, there's so many stats right now in the AL. They're either led by Buxton or Arias. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, they're, they're doing awesome. Urshel is doing some awesome diving. He's that was amazing him days. throwing off his back. Dude. Yeah. Rochelle is doing some great work at third base. Um, if only oh. we had a really good first baseman. Dude. No. Buxton. Another awesome thing about Buxton is that uh, he currently is tied uh, in wins above replacement. Mm. Having only played 37% of the season so far. Oh. <laughs> he's just like... When he hits, dude, it's it's clutch as fuck. That reminds me of somebody else in a different uh, different league. In a different league. Can, should, should we move on? From Lord Byron? I, I suppose it's time, wow. dude. Uh, you look anywhere uh, on social networking sites, and, and the news is talking about Buxton enough. He's the darling of baseball right now. He is. He's doing great. He's fucking awesome. He's doing great. And him doing great is allowing the twins to do great. And it makes uh, them all happy. You know who else is doing great? It's the Benny. Wolves. You like that? It's Benny. Benny's doing great, right? Carl. Oh, yeah. Carl. Anthony Towns um, has been doing great. He's been ang- playing angry. Uh, their last their last game that they played, Dude, two, he gets two, so two, games, two games have, had, have happened since our last episode. Is that correct, Charles? Yes. Because they... Yes, because we didn't talk about the the third game that they lost that they were very very far ahead in. No, and we're not going to talk about it because it's already know. happened. And it the, wasn't cool. So, it wasn't. And then cool. the last game that they uh, played, they won. And it was so cool. And so let's talk about the cool yeah, game. Yeah, because we're an upbeat podcast here, right? Uh, we talk about the good things. And Carl played angry. He played very very angry. Um, and oh, I'm trying to find this. Oh yeah, just not the most pleasant when I'm angry. He's not the most pleasant when he's angry, and he they they, they won. Um, man, I I I wish I had my notes because I had like a <laughs> good transition here. Yeah, it which I which I was remembering like, about like you were talking about how Buxton is like the darling of the team. Uh, Ant. <laughs> And just got 99 points in uh in the first couple in the in these four playoff games which is the most points in um franchise history yeah for the Timberwolves playoff and wow. so fun to watch for one player he he has had 99 points already in four games that's fantastic and well, that, he, he had a quote about that kind of yeah he said i couldn't find an audio for it so but he was saying uh they're just trying to find ways to dominate regardless of or i'm just trying to find ways to dominate regardless of what they throw at me double triple quadruple coach comes out on the court and guards me as well and find ways to put the ball in the bucket was that ant or towns i think that was towns well i was talking about ant but yeah oh i'm sorry nice. but towns has been great too yeah. with that yeah Towns, because Towns, Towns put up. Uh, and that's what, what I was saying. He's playing, yeah, he was playing angry. Yeah, it, didn't, it just... wouldn't matter if the coach went on on, on the floor. No. Would it, that would be weird. Would I'd be, say, why? Uh, what are you doing weird? out there, coach? Because <laughs> there would be six people on the court or on their team on playing defense. <laughs> Maybe he's subbed in. Maybe uh, they were confused by the people jumping on the court. 
Yeah, I'll help the protesters. <laughs> is there a court? Is there? Is there a court? Is there? Is there a coach uh, a, a good player or something? I don't know. I don't know why uh, Carl said that, but I like really the idea of him or... joking that the coach is going to defend him. Yeah. So, so Carl's throwing it out there that he um, he can play against anybody because he's angry, and we all know what happens when he's angry. Just not the most pleasant when I'm angry. And then Ant made 99 points in the, in the most in NBA franchise history, franchise history of the of the oh, playoffs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and he's and it's because you know we played a lot of a lot of playoffs. Have the Wolves been in the playoffs that much? Uh, no, not many times, but especially not in a we've. So here's the thing: we really need to win this game, or this series, because we've only moved on to the second round once yeah. ever. Okay, let's let's rewind that. Oh man. But how many I times need, were we in that first round? I need a rewind um, button. I need a rewind button. Uh, rewind. Okay. I need my notes too. Go. Yeah. Go. No. Why don't we, you talk about uh, the the franchise history? So they've they've only been in the playoffs ten times since nineteen ninety. Jeez. Or no, since 1990. Wait, when was their first That's season? more than I would have guessed, honestly. So, yeah. That's not very often they go, and they've only moved on once, and that time they went to the uh, Western Conference Final. Hmm. So yeah. that's, you know, maybe we can move on and go to the Western Conference Final. Yeah, they should. They're okay, good. so what you're saying is that in the entire NBA uh, Timberwolves history, they've only gone... Pass this once, pass this round once. Yeah, yeah. They've never. They've only. The only time they've won a series was that year, two thousand three and four. I thought I heard something series. too that they they hadn't ever came back from a two one deficit. Correct. And that that if they, so that they never they've never seen a game six or something. That's what that mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they're getting a game six for sure. So, yeah, so they're, they're going to play. A lot, of record, a lot of records being broken here. huh? Is that what you guys are saying? A lot of. I think this is a different team and we could do it. Oh, dude. Uh, man, that just leads me into what I was hearing about on the radio today. And I don't want to use their, their stuff. Yeah, we don't care about heard, them. We're better that's than... one thing I will say. I listen to the national media out here. And I, I, yeah. Ant is definitely so they were comparing Ja and Ant, and almost every expert out here says even though Ja has more f- finesse, they would long term take Ant. Oh really? Hundred times out of a hundred. Wow. Like I I heard multiple people say that in like ESPN radio and on uh, our local radio that does the LA scene. They both, and then TV said it too. They were all like, they like yeah, him. we take Ant over Ja, even though most people think Ja is a better player wow. because he has more finesse. Wow. That's does he awesome. get 99 points, though? Does he? <laughs> does he? Ant uh, does, yeah, he does. No, does Ja. He oh, doesn't. Oh, no, Ja doesn't. No. Yeah. I don't know. Nope. I, no. no. Um, nope, probably not. I mean, I didn't count. So there's been some protests, protests. that have been going on. Uh, yeah, over Glen Taylor did... Chicken Farm. So, uh, one of one farm. of the uh, uh, this has been all ha- no have this all, all been happening at the at home games or is it no one of them happened in Memphis. So one time, uh, a lady glued her hand down to the court of the basketball court, and she had a and all these people are wearing a shirt that says uh, Glenn Taylor roasts animals. Something like that. Live animals, because yeah. uh, somehow the, he, somehow their hand, the way they're handling their their his chickens at his chicken farms, the way they dispose well, them is un- inhumane. They I don't had know. An I don't break a bird flu, so he culled an entire yeah, like all of them. He I don't killed know. all of. Them. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. Okay. So I'm I I, I don't know if it's in, inhumane or if it is or, you know if. 
I I hey. don't know. I know that he's called a lot of chickens because of the bird flu, which yeah. is something that needs to be done. Mm-hmm. From what I understand, I don't know. I don't know. It must be how he's doing it. But the way he's doing it, the people are protesting. Yeah, it. that and that's mm-hmm. the fact. I I'm not going to say that I know anything about what's going on here because I don't. Right. I I, yeah. I know of it, but I I, mm-hmm. I don't know exactly. Sure. So yeah, so people have been protesting it. A lady, and it happened in Memphis. Uh, chained herself to a basketball hoop. Hoop. Yep. Uh-huh. And then, and then in this home game, somebody ran off onto the court. Yeah. And then while while they're running off onto the court, somebody started attacking Glenn Taylor and his wife yeah. or whoever he was sitting next to. Like, That's so wild. It's, it's it's weird. It's very confusing because like they're not get. Here's the thing I don't get: they're not getting their message across at all in doing these these movements, and like even the national media barely talks about them. Which is like, I I don't know why would you attack Glenn Taylor physically in a basketball court without? I mean, I don't know. I don't, it's just it's weird. Protest. Yeah. Protest. Yeah. Or protest, man. I just think there's better ways to do it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's, it's probably worse. Ways I can't to do say it. that it's good or bad. Because I, I don't know the facts. And I don't know if this was the good way to do it yeah. or not the good way to do it. None of us know? know if Glenn Taylor has or hasn't, you know, done things with those chickens. I know Glenny down the block sucks, though. So I, yeah, so I would just do he, he might have, he might have had relations with the chickens. So Whoa! I mean, no one can say that. I mean, I don't know I don't if know. he hasn't. I don't know what's we're just going asking on. Questions. Yeah, I know. We're just asking and the questions. So we're just asking the questions. We don't have to answer them, right? That's kind of <laughs> well, like yeah. the thing. Um, yeah, we can we can ask questions, and no, I don't want, I don't like that shit either because I know we're mocking it. <laughs> yeah. Because oh yeah 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 because that um, that one guy. Mm-hmm. Who's asking questions? <laughs> Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Uh, we have cat quotes. Is that we, we did that? We that? did that. We did that. Um, yep. What about the? Oh, dude, you're gonna say. You want? I to... don't remember. Let, let me. Oh. I got this in my hand. Oh, okay. What is this? Ooh. I got this in my hand. I don't remember what that refs. I don't rem- refs. I don't remember. Someone what was that complaining means. about. Oh, the I refs. remember. No, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, okay. Because oh. I don't have my notes. But go, go ahead. Say <laughs> some, was... say something okay. about the refs, and then let's see if it jogs my memory. Otherwise, I want to move so, on to this because this is very yeah. important. So the refs. You, uh, you can hear that. I got. I got. This is the, one of the first games that the refs didn't basically try to. Bounce Carl out of the game as soon as possible. Yeah. What do you mean and by so that? Because, what do you mean by that? Well, he, that's what the uh, opposing team's coach seems to think is that they were unfair because Cat didn't get called on a million fouls like he usually does. <sighs> Dude, Whether or not he really committed them, well, you know, it's subjective. But okay. the coach definitely. I mean, the other is... team's coach, Memphis, has thought that they were unfair. They're. It seemed like a lot of their strategy was fucking pulling fouls. Even to the point mm-hmm. of like two of the players doing like that tag team like uh close line where he grabbed the other mm-hmm. guy's hand. And, like, well, that was weird. Oh, like, so doing wrestling with So uh there was there um I don't remember the guys the players names but on the replay you could absolutely see uh the Memphis player gra- uh holding on to McDaniel's hand. Yeah. And while they're running, like he, it's like it's very instantaneous. So, it, but on replay, you can see it when it's in slow motion. He's holding on to when they're separating to let somebody go through. There, he's holding on to McDaniel's hand and hits McDaniel's hand into uh, the his Memphis teammates. his teammates Memphis's face, and then they call a follow foul on the Timberwolves. But not McDaniels, too. It was on it, someone it else. Wasn't on it McDaniels. Was on... It was on somebody else. But it was wild. Like, he <laughs> hurt his own teammate to try to make a foul happen. Yeah. Um, 
it was weird. It was very weird. It was something I've never seen before. But uh, with, with with the refs, um, they're blind. Uh, you know, like, well, sometimes you wonder: are, are they blind, or are they? I mean, if if you say that it's that saying that is a disservice to people without sight. Yeah. Right. Um. Because they're not. They, and no. sometimes, like they, sometimes refs will, and this this gets into b- baseball does the same thing. Refs will call 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 a foul, and then and then decide, well, that wasn't the right foul, so then they won't call a foul next yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. they all make that conscious decision, just kind of like with baseball, the strike zone changes depending on the umpire's moods. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that happens, and people know it. And like the other radio station was saying, show was saying, like I, I like, man, I gotta credit them for bringing this up in their show. I, I believe this is where I'm getting a lot of this from. But like, I, 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 I agree with them. How can a player perform to their best abilities? If they don't know if certain fouls are gonna or or if the the batter's box is gonna change, how do they? How can they perform their best if they don't know if they're gonna be called 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 a foul for something or not? Does that make sense? Is, am I getting this clear to you? Yeah. When you play when you play good though, then you just don't worry. How about do you it. play good if the rules change on you on the fly? <laughs> yeah, there shouldn't be makeup calls and stuff like that. There shouldn't that's be. That's what makes it. That's no, what ruins I, it. I meant in the sense of like, if the strike zone changes, just hit a home run. And I want to bring up the point of, and this isn't from them. This is uh, from the other place. I, this is where I continued the thought. Who owns sports now? Bally, right? Gambling. <sighs> and what is stopping any of these umpires from gambling on the games that they're fucking playing? The honor system. I mean, I'm sure it's against the law. It is. Yeah, the law. Like, but if gambling owns the 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 broadcast of the sports, like it also. I'm really just like I'm just really worried them. about how much gambling is becoming a big thing in the sports, and how mm. we, we know as humans refs on the other side of that. As human beings, you hear, you see where I'm coming, where I'm going with this. As human beings, they have faults, mm-hmm. and this, there's going to be a moment in time where they're going to be like, "Oh, this is a big problem," and what do we do about it? And what do we do about it, guys? What robot ups? Robot ups. We, oh man. A, that's gonna be great. From baseball through football and soccer and basketball, just robot umps because we can't trust umpires anymore. We can't trust oh, refs but then, anymore. But then, and then we I don't have to hear those commercials about how parents are being horrible to the refs and the the umps that are are that are coaching their or they're yeah. they're, they're, they're doing the uh, league. the kids game little league games yeah you know like calm down they're, Jane. they're running out of refs well just make fucking robot umps right it's but, easy mm-hmm. just easy but then i couldn't tell you that jeffers is like leading the league in uh fucking framing out his own pitches as strikes <laughs> like you know he's He's done that a lot, actually, in his last few games. It's pretty fucking it's an awesome. Art. It's yeah, an it, art. It is, and it's you an wouldn't art. have that. the uh, The robot would be like ball. Yeah, and with you know, basketball. <laughs> ball, and ball, with, ball. And with, and with basketball, ball. it's an art to be able to change a ref's mind by just pointing the opposite direction of where the ball's supposed to be going. You know, like yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So I will say, I think I don't know. Basketball is probably the hardest sport to ref. It absolutely. It's fast. Well, it's it's fast and it's a non-contact sport with a lot of contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
like and, and, how do you and just like just uh, we gotta stop we gotta stop here because we just keep we we can't yeah. listen to the, their show before no. ours because this is exactly what they were talking about and the next thing i would That's say is happens. you know they're really big really big players you know that are really this fast our show. and this, this, is, our this show. is our show this isn't the other yeah show. we talked about football that's why we want robot umps, though. And football. But robot umps, that's, um, I wish I don't have the sound bite. Ball. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, man. Just, but. What is, uh, slashing? Slashing is, um, like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, the wild is the best, have been the best since March. The best what? The best monkeys? Best team. The best, best winning record. Yeah. The best. The best. They are the best. The best. Yeah. People are like, this team is literally all Wayne Gretzky's. <laughs> so yeah, like, basically, yeah, basically, even since, the basically since March, like everyone's basically just being a Wayne Gretzky out there. You know, you ever played like those Sega games? So you like do the cheat codes or you play like, like make your team all Wayne Gretzky and it's like the stats are way too OP. Yeah, that's, that's basically what they did. That's basically what the wild did. That's, that's cool. March. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're making it to the playoffs. Yep, they already got their first matchup set nice. with only, I think, two games left in the season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they play the Blues, uh, yeah. which have been a thorn in their side, but I think they could totally topple them. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. no, they they have to. Um, the, the I mean, the Blues, they won last, last year. Yes. And uh, yeah, just like hard, the, it, just yeah. like the other program was saying, they have replaced the Blackhawks for the rivalry. Rivalry. Um, I disagree with that, but you disagree with that? Yeah, it's it's Colorado, one hundred percent. Maybe we should. Maybe we should reach reach out to them. Maybe we should and have them as a as a guest. Ooh, as a yeah. as a guest. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. <laughs> this is a talk show. It is a talk show. Talk show. It's not, but, a, uh, it's not a sports podcast. It, I really hope they can get the the series win over the Blues because they have been consistently in the playoffs the last 10 years, mm-hmm. which is the second best record in the league. Mm-hmm. The only team that's better than them has been in the playoffs all 10 years. And I believe that's Pittsburgh. Wow. Um, but they've only gotten to the second round like once in all of those years you said about the timberwolves basically yeah Yeah. so like this is the time for minnesota sports teams to take that next step you know we're ready and then the breaking the curse and then the vikings will be that way next year or this next playoffs like all all we 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 can talk the same we are at a precipice of a minnesota sports dynasty yeah yeah um i said that last week i mean (laughs) I mean the the Lynx already broke the curse, but it's just taking the men's teams to uh, yeah. to figure it out. Mm-hmm. They mature slowly. Um, which, by the way, uh, the Lynx are starting May six, which is coming up really soon. Uh, next mm-hmm. week. Next week, yeah. May, May six, nine o'clock against Seattle. So make sure to tune in. I wanted to make sure that was we'll the be, announcement. We'll be on again before sure. that, though, right? That's after our next episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But you know, I'm just making still sure. next week. Yeah. I'm just yep. making sure that yeah. we don't it's forget. Not this week, you don't want to forget. Uh, week. But yeah, the, the the Vikings are going to after the Timberwolves break the the men's curse. Yes. The hockey the hockey will break break their curse. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then and twins the, the twins twins will be next. Are going to win. Twins will be next, and then and the, the Vikings. Vikings, and this. Because you know why, you know why Charles and and uh, James? I I do, but I want you to tell the listeners. Okay, because and Charles, they got I, did I talk about this yet? I don't know. They got rid of the coach, which was the problem. Yeah, right. And they didn't do any off season trades. <laughs> Nothing's really changed on the team at all. Basically, I mean they they got the they got the NFL draft coming up here soon, which was when that twenty eighth on the twenty eighth. Yeah, this, um, this week. This week. That's this, this week. week. But they didn't, and I mean, we still have a bunch of off season left. But they didn't yeah. do much. They just got they got rid of the coach and then the uh, the GM. Yeah. Right. 
and mm-hmm. the people that run the whole place. And they decided to stick with the team that they had, that they got, that they inherited, right? Yeah. We mm-hmm. got Kirk, uh, the same wide receivers, the same defense, and they're just going to be like, okay, you guys are awesome. Told us that uh, the other GM and and the coach were the problem. So let's see how you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, right? They're going to. I like that they're, like they're giving them the chance. They're going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? They, they have to because all the other teams are going to do it. Uh, from all the other leagues. This is going to be really embarrassing for the Vikings after we win all these other Minnesota titles. Right? You know. Mm-hmm. I'm calling it here. The, the, I don't really believe this. But <laughs> but uh yeah, the the, the the I believe it. Yeah. Like I'm I'm, yeah. I'm going to start having my voice crack like her gonna... cousins. <laughs> you know because I I believe in him and the rest of the team so much. <laughs> That it was just it was just the uh, the coach it was just the coach. I, I do find it funny though that you know a lot of teams there we're not the only team to have kept the band together you know like we're bringing the band back together keeping us all here. Um, we're not the only teams who've done that, but most of the teams that have done that well, like went to the Super Bowl or <laughs> made the playoffs deep runs. So I, I think it's a good ch- it's a it's funny we brought the team back together when we didn't do very good, but I think it's a good challenge for them to prove it was the coach. Yeah, yeah exactly. I this think that's what the, we get out of this. This will prove, prove it. it. Um, oh, I, was that? We I, got, I forgot to I, USFL is still happening. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot to hold on. Hold on, let me. I forgot to play. Are you us. ready for some football? Yeah. yeah, are you ready for some football? That's what we're talking about. USFL football is being played right now. Live. Live. Yeah. They have wow. Monday. I, I found out, I realized today that they have Monday night games just like the NFL. Yeah. And they mm-hmm. and they have Sunday games just like the NFL. Well, and they have Saturday games not like the NFL, which is great, right? Like people want to watch uh, football on Saturdays. Let's college usually. Yeah. Well, there, yeah, college can, well is there college football Saturdays no, but right no, now? But I'm saying it's a day. It's competing. another day That's of football. That's what we talked about last Sundays. last uh, week. We're like, yo, are we really? How many not, of you want to watch really? some football? I haven't watched any. Nor have I. I watched a little more of it. Yeah, yeah. How's and, it? Well, the Saturday game I watched was in Philadelphia. And there were so few fans to the point that I was wondering if there were no fans allowed in the oh, place. No. Otherwise, then they'd have to pay to staff it. Ooh. So I was literally wondering, like, maybe they didn't allow fans in or something, but there were, like, no fans. And I learned they have, so, like, the spider cam, the thing that's the overhead shot in football, um, which is on wires. Yeah. They have something like that, except it's a drone. And it's a tiny drone that chases the player with the football around the field. Mm. Sounds cool. Looks awful. Dude. The frame rate and the camera quality is not good enough to be using it right now. Huh. It looks really cheap. It yeah, looks really awesome. cheap. Um, it sounds great. I thought, it, I'm like, ooh, a drone. I saw it floating around. I'm like, here we go. And then the first time they showed the shot, I went, oh, this is like the pylon cam. It just doesn't look good. I like how he's re- replicating that right now through yeah, his video. Weird. Yeah. Um Oh, that's that's too bad. Too, yeah. Better uh, luck who, next time, USFL. Who, do we know who owns owns the USFL? I, I don't. Um I know that the T some of the TV Are networks they, I'll, I'll, have stock in it or something. I'm just wondering if oh yeah, Fox owns it, right? Yeah, Fox has major that's stock right. in it, even yeah. though it airs on other channels too. That's right. I was just wondering if it's better than NFL. Are they going to be better than? Should we just? Do we need to support the USFL instead of the NFL type of thing? That's what I'm Maybe. wondering. Maybe. Hmm. Or do I need? The play. Do I, I need... will say the play looks better than I thought it did last time. I mean, at, at least now there's a you know a a possibility of supporting a, a different company. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like. There's a lot going on in like the world of companies, and sometimes you want to move on from one company to another one because uh, somebody owns 
you know, a company that you don't agree with their policies on other companies that they own. And it's just like, uh, what do you right. do? What do you do if you don't have a, another option? When they own all the companies. So it's nice that there is an option with the USFL is what I'm saying. You know, yep. competition's good and for products and then also the consumer, you know? So yes. if, if there is another, what I'm trying to say is that there is another like radio type of show that, that reminds you of fuzz jock radio. Um, it's totally okay for you to listen to it because it's and it's not our competition and we're not like trying to like replicate what they're doing yeah but um, if you wanted to tell them about us you can you, you could but we'd be you know only if, if they, they like what we're doing and uh don't try to like sue us for copyright infringements or anything yeah because we, we don't understand we don't we i don't. think howard stern would leave us alone you think he would yeah uh, NFL, NFL, LAF, LAFC at the, t- at top, LAFC at top. See, yeah, not... I thought we'd combine football with football nowadays. Yeah, so okay, I thought yeah, we'd talk okay, football. I okay. I get it. Go ahead. All football. Um, LAFC has continued to stay at top of the entire MLF league. Yes. Which makes me very happy because they are fun to watch again. Yeah. And it's, it's okay. Cause this is the one thing that, uh, Minnesota might not be too good at right now. Actually, their their soccer team is doing pretty good too. They're oh, they're yeah. like fifth or sixth, and they have only two less wins than uh, the LAFC. That's pretty good. Yeah, That's so pretty good. I think that they're actually going to do good this year, even though I don't really follow them. I mean, I follow them of course because of the show. I follow everything they do. I follow everything that happens all the time. Yeah, kind of like um, uh, Kang, <laughs> that that guy from the Marvel stuff, that the seer of the timelines. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you I mean, see all of them. At I mean, do you see them just, all? It's just times. an internship right now, so um, don't know if it'll be a full time gig yet. So. Wait, I want to know, Just though. Do you see them out. all at once, or do you see them at different times? Yeah, you got like, to log in. This is how many you log into at a time. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. We're talking about stuff that you can't hear, so put your headphones back on, Fuzzy. Oh, <laughs> man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that transition is. Um, Where are we at? Did we... I, I like I totally zoned out. And I'm really sorry. We talked about f- the um, American foosball, and we talked about real foosball. So yes. now we can let's move on to the next one. All right. I don't have a I don't have a sound bite for this. Uh, we usually we usually talk some some wrestling. Is wrestling AEW is fun to watch? Well, uh, blind. So I just want to shout out to the blind refs before we keep moving on okay. so quickly the the blind refs have been made the the uh intro music and the outro music that you'll hear uh that was able to place you know sound bites on too yeah and uh the, the, there are That's there are fun. sound are sound people they're part um, of the fuzz jock they're family fuzz, they're now part of the fuzz jock family forever and, um so they when, can't you, leave. when you hear when you hear music it's not me it's the blind refs. Um, yeah. Yeah. So They're I, cool. So uh, uh, if the blind refs think about it, uh, wink, wink, um, make a sound bite for the, for the smash. Yeah, never stop. Never stop making things for us. Yeah, make, make us a, a get, sports get, yeah, or a things. gaming or gaming sports. We can't pay you. Sorry. Sound. Sorry, we can't pay you at the moment. But we will. Um, no, we don't we'll need to talk. We, we don't need to. We don't need to talk about uh, <laughs> our what their contracts. Yeah, because we love them. Yeah. Oh man, we're here to talk about esports. Well, well, first, I need to throw out the advertisements for fuzz fuzztalkshop.com. Yeah. Uh, if you like what you're doing, if you, if you like what if you're, you're, like doing, you're doing, if you like what we're doing, uh, uh, you can support us by buying merchandise by going to fuzztalkshop.com. Then we would like it that you were doing that. Okay. I don't know why I'm so nervous tonight. I don't know. I don't know if it's, it's the, the coffee. coffee. 
Well, we could talk some. Uh, well, just go ahead. Go. Some esports. Just go. You had we a can. lot of questions about this last week. Yeah, I yeah. don't remember the Do questions. Do you remember? Uh-huh. You know, okay, well, we were talking about Super Smash Brothers, which is a Nintendo fighting game featuring an all-star roster of various Nintendo characters from different games. Yep. Amongst others. Yeah, yeah. I don't yes. remember. I remember talking yeah, about that, weekend, but I don't remember my questions specifically. Is what well, I'm trying to well. say. That's what I am saying. Is I don't. Then I'm not you're, trying you're, to say it. And I am saying I don't remember the questions that I asked last week. Okay, we might have do to you, pause. Do you remember those and questions? Listen to the episode. <laughs> oh, blind refs. Uh, w- rewind sound bite. Yes, rewind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we. Uh, How's the tournament? The last weekend the there was going? last weekend there was a tournament. Yep. And now just this most recent last weekend there has been another open bracket super major tournament. How did it go? Uh, it was exciting. Yeah. Yeah, lots of smashing happened. Yeah. And um did a, did, a, did did a brotherhood? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of brotherhood. Uh the the champion is this guy named Zane. He is actually the one that won the the last uh Last tournament that we talked about is Genesis Eight. Okay. This one was Pound. Pound. Yeah, Pound. That was just the tournament well, series. That's the name of the tournament. Of the tournament series, yeah. The name of the so tournament you're series. Take us to Pound Town. Yeah. So yeah. He, so Zane took you to Pound Town. Zane did it. He he. Uh, and he won. He won the back to back. And he won the last one. Yep. And he right so now is. Uh, did he use the same main? Yes. Yes. And once again, a main is the character that. Uh, the, the is the is the um you're proficient in yes the, is the character that you decide that you is the best that you can play yeah right that you will focus on primarily my main would be probably LeBron James yeah or Kirby or Michael Jordan mm. Michael Jordan would be a good main he's probably he's probably too OP yeah. <laughs> he he's the cheat code yeah well yeah. With no. this, with this player Zane, yeah. um, he's the OP now, huh? Yeah, he's he's uh, a newer player who has kind of come to rise more in the last few years uh, with people playing Super Smash Brothers Melee online. Did he start as a mini boss or a hidden boss, whatever they're called? Um, no, uh, or was I, he I known before so. that? No, not really. He, okay. No, he just kind of kind of came up it, with fame uh, from playing online in in these most recent eras, and um, you know when when put to the test, he was able to defeat some of the best around, and um, I think he took his first uh, major championship uh, a couple of years ago. Um, so he, he's been he's been a a, a top player. Uh, top five player for sure within the last uh, three four years or so. Okay. Yeah, just took back to back tournaments. So Has that cool. ever happened before? Yeah, other other top players have done this before, but he hasn't done that before. I don't believe so. Okay. Okay. I don't believe so. So, is there uh, another tournament next week? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of what's what what's coming up. It's it's kind of unusual for two super majors to happen in back-to-back weekends um that uh the genesis that happened two two weekends ago that one was supposed to happen uh at the beginning of the year and was postponed okay oh okay. so that that's why sense. we have these two major tournaments that just happened two weekends in a row okay. so it'll be it'll be uh probably a little few weeks before before we uh bring up the smash brothers again okay well, okay. they also played the most recent version uh, the, on the Nintendo Switch, which is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Do you like that one? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Which one is the it, one that you like the, the most? It's not the one I prefer. I, I prefer the Melee on the yeah. GameCube. That's your main. That was my main. What's your main? my jam. What's your main I would say character. it's my jam. What's your main character? Do you have a main? You can come back to us next week yeah. if it's too hard to answer that. No, I was going to talk about Sm- Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because... <laughs> <laughs> the person that took the ultimate championship was uh, a player from France and is the first time in the franchise history of Smash Brothers since Are you ready for I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I I, I that. I I uh 
stepped on the sound board. Anyway, our 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 ultimate champion uh he goes by the tag Gluttony. <laughs> he plays okay. he plays Wario. Mm. Um he took first place at Pound for Ultimate and this is the first time in Smash franchise history that we have a champion from Europe since oh. since uh since the GameCube when we had a a Swedish player. A couple of Swedish players that have been really top. Hmm. So yeah, we haven't seen that in any iteration of Smash Brothers since at the top level. Well, now it's back. Yeah, we did it. We're there. Good job, Gluttony. Yeah, good job, Gluttony. Uh, do 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 the basketball. No, we, I, we, we did the basketball. We did the basketball. Do ba do ba do. I didn't okay. do that sound bite, but. Uh, Teen Titans Go is on the uh, is on the big board here. I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay. <laughs> um, blind refs. Yeah, we did that. We already did that. So are we at the end of the episode yeah, already? Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we're at fuzz, fuzzy memory trivia time. Oh, we did not write that down. If I had my notes, <laughs> I would have written that down. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you're still listening, uh, the blind refs. Well, that's what that. That's that's right. I'm so confused here. Uh, we need a soundbite for fuzzy memory trivia's. That would be that'd be great. Because currently that's the soundbite, and I'm not happy with it. I would like to have a jingle. Yeah, make is this, it. Is this, make is it this how like, we talk to the the, the blind do the trivia. Is through, is Open through circuit the, communication. Yeah. Going to ask you some I questions, and I we're going to answer. I won't. I won't ask them. Like specifically through Discord or anything like fuzzy, that. Fuzzy, fuzzy, the trivia. I'll just yes. hopefully they listen and then they'll send this us. Is how we yeah. communicate to the blind refs. <laughs> they don't use email. Wow. Well, we do. If you if the fans, that's how you contact us. us is but by sending these guys us don't. Fuzzjock radio, fuzzjock radio at gmail dot com. Yeah. The fuzz. What do we call the fans they again? I forget. They don't. They don't fuzz use jockers. email because fuzz they jockers, can't right? See. That's what I thought. Oh boy. Okay, fuzzy memory trivia. Um I do not have this ready. It's three with to all, three. I with all this preparation from last week. We did it. I uh would you you would think that I'm not pre- I, I didn't do anything. But I did. I did. I I, I bought a whiteboard. Here, well uh let me let me um tell you some funny things from uh, I saw on Facebook. Well you prepare. <laughs> yeah, go. So uh, no one, no one has better insight uh, and opinions about sports than people on Facebook, and I've got some awesome things that people on Facebook said about the minor league baseball rule change of making second base closer and larger. This is the yes. dumbest experiment I've ever read in sports. Lead the bases where they are. If these these slow players can't go steal the full distance, then don't steal. That's what Derek said. Okay, Derek. Yeah, Derek. And then Doug. Doug's all like, why don't they just let the guys who hit 40 home runs while striking out three times, 300 times run around the home plate circle and then run back into the dugout? We can also give them a double every time they don't ground out to the four guys playing second base. <laughs> okay. I don't know what sport Doug's watching. It sounds like Blurns Ball to me. Yeah, it sounds like Blurns Ball, too. Okay. Scott is like, can they do anything else to ruin the game? Why do you want them to ruin the game, Scott? That's not what they're trying to do. Fuzzy memory trivia time. I don't think Scott's a real baseball fan. Uh, we had a tie score from last week, didn't we? Three to three? Mm-hmm. Was it three to mm-hmm. three? Am I, yes. am, I, am I remembering right this time around? Yes. I Because I... I've scored so many of the three points. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to move on. Next episode, lives. we won't talk about Tom anymore. Fucking Tom. Yeah. I would have my notes ready. And I tried to prepare. I got, got a whiteboard. We'd have a computer. Got We'd a, have a producer. I did We'd get a whiteboard. I did get a whiteboard. Tom, so next week, I'll have notes, and I'll be more prepared than I was this week, right? Okay. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing. That you're going to bring to the table. Uh, how are we doing this this week, guys? Chime in. It's three to three. Chime in. No, we're just going to answer. answer. Just Remember? Answer. Just, just going to answer. Okay. Yeah, we just answer. Okay. Ready? Go. 
What African country? Uh, I, got the, I gotta move this so Jameis can't see the answer. How am I going to look? Yeah, let me open it here. Okay. I hope people are My still listening. My eyesight is terrible. For some reason, I have a feeling that people aren't listening anymore. No, we got. Well, good I think to say. I think we got twice as many listeners. Oh boy, that's yeah. why I'm nervous. Is that why I'm nervous? Yeah. I because I nervous. have this feeling. I have this feeling. Oh. Hello. This is the this is the episode, so I'm fucking up. Make sure to tune in next week. It's gonna be better. Hello. And <laughs> listen to last week because it was probably pretty good. Um what African country fielded a men's volleyball team that qualified for the two thousand eight Olympics? Rwanda. Incorrect. Chad. Incorrect. Egypt. Which hmm. World Series cha- uh chants were called the that. Big Red Machine? The Cincinnati Reds. Correct. One point for C Dubs. Which college? Oh, we went back to zero to zero since we were tied. C Dubs <laughs> one. No, 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 no. Okay. Three, three to three. Four to th- four to three. Four to three. Which, 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 or three to four, depending on which uh, viewpoint you're taking. Uh, which college did NBA superstar Grant Hill go to? Duke. Correct. Tuck. Oh, so four to four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yankee Stadium is known as the house uh, that which famous player built? Babe Ruth. Correct. Five to four. What was the Cincinnati Reds' original nickname? Red Sox. Incorrect. The Spiders. Incorrect. Red Stockings. Oh, oh, know. How long is uh, half when playing a game of rugby? 40 minutes. Correct. Five to four? Six to four. Six to four. What 80s sitcom did Jim Harborough appear in? Mr. Belvedere. Incorrect. Family Matters. Saved by the Bell. At the 2018 NBA All-Star who, uh, game, who was the head coach of the Team LeBron? Steve Kerr. Incorrect. James. In- incorrect. Dwayne Casey. Oh. Who represented the Miami Heat at the 2018 NBA All-Star game? Latrell Sprewell. Incorrect. Um, Dwayne Wade. Incorrect. Goran Dragic. Uh, which of these American League teams clinched a 2018 playoff worth first? I'm not going to list a team. Okay, which one? Which, of the, a, which uh, of the American teams clinched a 2018 playoff worth first? Uh, I'm going to go with the Yankees. Incorrect. <laughs> Remember, this is not chime in. Just, uh, just say what it is. Yeah. It's Red Sox. What Red Sox player reached 40 home runs first in the 2018 MLB season? Rafael Devers. Incorrect. Barry Bonds. Incorrect. Who started the season as head coach of for the St. Louis Rams in 2008? Uh, ben Roethlisberger. Incorrect. I don't remember. Scott Lionhand. Who started all 16 games at left tackle for the Colts in 2012? Something Monday? Incorrect. Something Tuesday. Incorrect. Anthony Costanzo. Oh, yeah. NBA center Joaquim Noah plays for which country internationally? Spain. Incorrect. Uh, Argentina. France. What was the name of the baseball team in a league of their own? Man. Monarchs. Incorrect. Rockford Peaches. How many points did the Eagles score in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl L- LII played in 28. February 2018? Incorrect. Four. Twelve. Alex in Hothopolos. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Alex A N T H O. P O U L O S is the general manager for which 2018 MLB team? The Marlins. Incorrect. Mets. Incorrect. Uh, Braves. Uh, Danny Carvaljal, C A R V A J A L, is a member of which country's national team in 2018? France. Incorrect. E- Egypt, Spain. How many games did the 2018 World Series last? Five. 
Uh, f- correct. Five. Uh, what's the score? Six to five. Six to five. Six to five. In the six to five C dubs. Or five to six. Five to six Jameis. In the NBA, who is known by the nickname of the mailman? Carl Malone. Correct. Five to five. Six, six to six. six. Six to six. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Who, who was chosen as the captain for uh, Team USA for the 2012 Ryder Cup? Phil Mickelson. Incorrect. Jack Nicholson. Incorrect. Uh, what, uh, D- Davis Love 3, what nickname is basketball's David Robinson known by? The man. The correct. Incorrect. The <laughs> <laughs> They're just trying to go as fast as I can. Yeah, they have yeah. a lot of questions. Keep going. The Admiral. Oh. Uh, which Raiders head coach was replaced before the 2012 season? That was Jim. Incorrect. Uh, Hugh Jackson. I don't know. And the last question to see if we can untie this game, okay, which go. is 6-6 six to six right now. We'll never untie mm-hmm. it. Rapper Drake is often seen courtside at which team's games? Like Toronto that. Raptors. Correct, C dubs. What? So, seven to six <gasps> C dubs. And that <sighs> is the end of Fuzzy Memory Trivia, which marks the end of the episode. Why does he like the Raptors? What? <laughs> Why does he go to the Raptors? Because he's from Canada. Yes. Why would he He's from Canada? He's also their like brand consultant. He probably like owns oh, part of them too. Okay. He does. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it's all coming good. He doesn't even care about basketball, I bet. I bet he I bet he does care about basketball. <laughs> when when they won Carefully. the championship, they had an out they had an outdoor party like outside the stadium for all the fans to watch the game. Yeah. When the Toronto Raptors won. Drake set up a stage to perform, got so drunk he didn't perform. <laughs> Wow, because he was enjoying the game so much and having a good time. Yeah, that that, cool. that that's it. They just had a DJ perform, and everyone like so everyone ir- was like so had live streams because everyone thought Drake was going to perform, and Man. then he was so drunk he he did really let down the fans. Drake, oh, hopefully the <laughs> fans got their money. Back. Irresponsible. Hopefully Get it the together, fans man. got their money back. Come on. Um, no, it was free. We won't do that. No, we won't do that to them. We're Never going to let you down. No, I also don't drink, so yeah, we're also going to never give you up. Forever. Man. I hope this episode ended up this being so good. the best episode that you've listened to so far. Uh, because I I'm just so worried um, <laughs> that people are gonna be like, Wow, you're just copying the, the, the other that other uh, and Not I don't know why I, I I'm like I sh- maybe just don't drink this coffee anymore, maybe. Yeah, don't, don't drink the copy coffee. I don't make you copy things. Um so yeah, we're at the end of the episode. Yeah. Uh, we want to do now. We end. This is where we end it, right? We talk about like if we're gonna do what we normally do, we're gonna talk about mm-hmm. uh, what we got going on this next week. How's it going, C Dubs? What do we got going on? What, 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 what do we got? I'm gonna keep what, trying what to heal up this uh, to? Pinch okay. nerve. Can we can we change the end? I want to change the end. Yeah. Let's change the end. What are we happy? What are we looking forward to? What are we happy for? What are we? What are we happy for? What's? I'm in a lot of pain. I don't want to answer that question. You can. You can answer that question. No, maybe not. I'm not going to push uh, you guys. I'm know. happy I'm, for I'm... Star Trek D and D tomorrow. You know, Dave is like, well, I was at a wedding recently, talking with some people about baseball, and it turns out a lot of people don't like watching it, and that's okay. A lot of people also do. You know, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people, there's a lot of people that like, yeah, take it from baseball. Dave. He's at a wedding. Yeah. Dave's got it. Yeah. My, uh, my grandma likes to watch base. <laughs> my grandma likes to watch baseball and that's what I look, that's what I'm looking forward to is to go see my gr- grandmother, um, and hear her mention again to me that, uh, <laughs> everybody thinks, everybody thinks that. I'm crazy for liking baseball, but I'd rather not watch. I'd rather rather watch baseball. She says that she'd rather watch baseball than hang out with other people. Yeah, like, that's yeah, that's time. great. That's awesome, Grandma. Me too. That's your grandma's great. Yeah, yeah. I hope she watches. Go, Grandma. More baseball. Uh, Jamez, what do you got? Looking? There's gonna be a sick T Wolves game going on tomorrow. I'm 
super i'm hyped for this want to come over and watch it with me yeah probably yeah yeah okay that'd be cool that'd be cool i joined but i have i have dnd at least the end of it <laughs> um yeah we'll see no but that, yeah it did. go wolves i'm i'm hoping that it's good time uh yeah so that's we're all excited about that's that's cool um yeah so uh just make sure everyone to um do 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 the things that you need to do yeah, yeah and then gary's all like dear fools who oversee professional baseball leave the game alone it is the greatest game ever invented and you idiots seem intent upon ruining it pitchers should always guys who want to dh should retire and go play church league slow pitch softball the numbers and dimensions of this great game are perfect leave them alone <laughs> Game's over. I wasn't worried about it. Ain't really much to say. I just knew that bills were in. I, I, I didn't go up there with any nervous energy. I was just ready to. I was thinking about what I was gonna eat after. Man, Jordan McLaughlin. Anything y'all ask me, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> y'all might not wanna ask me no more questions. Jordan McLaughlin, that's my answer. Defense too. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Football. Just not the most pleasant when I'm angry.